Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. I'm Matthew, and this is a glass. And this is a beer. And that's outside. Sorry, I have no clue why I introduced you to outside. But I figure... Well, I don't figure. I'm grasping at straws, trying to figure out where to start this thing. Um, <laughs> So today it's the Samish Haze by Black Raven. Um, if you think I'm reviewing a lot of Black Raven beers, you're wrong. I mean, you're right. I like the brewery. They're pretty good. So when I see something of theirs out, I tend to try to pick it up. And I think I kind of like Hazy's, Hazy IPAs. I mean, I would say it's not necessarily my absolute favorite, but with the weather warming a little bit, not quite hot yet. Um, the thick, tropical, juicy, and you know, brightly bitter, hazy IPA is a pretty tasty thing. So, let's dive in, shall we? Yeah, helps to open the right side of the can. Oh, we're bubbling. I can do this right here. Hmm. I would call that hazy. What, uh, I mean, it's not quite orange juice. Uh, maybe a pineapple juice in color. Uh, the head is pretty decent. Ooh, um,. Yeah, definitely pineapple juice and orange juice, kind of like a 50-50. You know, um, orange Julius. Orange Julius, that's the smell. Remember the orange Julius at the mall? Oh yeah. <laughs> we didn't get it that often. We didn't go to the mall that often growing up, but um, orange Julius was a special treat. <laughs> this smells like good memories. Hmm, that's pretty smelly. I mean, I was gonna say that's pretty tasty, but I haven't tasted anything, so I said that's pretty smelly, um, which makes even less sense. <laughs> that smells pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty much just straight through pineapple orange juice, which isn't a bad thing, isn't an unpleasant thing, that's for certain. And it seems pretty willing to give more head just by stirring it up. I'm just going to give this a drink. Seems like the right thing to do now. <laughs> Continuing on the Orange Julius, um, there's vanilla ice cream in there. Um, not really any pineapple, but it's this interesting combination of a real uh, kind of a, a mellow and and broad, soft uh, creaminess, and maybe the barest hint of pineapple coconut in the background. Not really any orange juice, uh, but maybe some lime juice. That's interesting. It, it's a really interesting and, and tasty combination. The hops are definitely prevalent, but the creaminess prevents them from being bitey. Um, it, it's really interesting. This is almost more of a, uh, a textural experience um, than a flavor experience. Uh, you know, like, okay, so you drink, you, you put, you, you drink heavy cream, because of course you drink heavy cream, but it's got that really thick, like mouth covering creaminess that just, it's there. Uh, from the higher fat content. Your beer doesn't have fat, or if it does, it's, you know, negligible quantities. I doubt the fats, I doubt fat survives the process. I, I don't know, but I'd imagine there's some lipids in the chemical composition of beer somewhere. But, so I know it's not like milk fat producing this. It just has that kind of mouth covering, mouth filling 
cooling like vanilla ice cream uh you know at chick-fil-a you can get those lemon or the lemon dream i think it is um or it's like lemon juice mixed with their soft serve ice cream it's kind of almost like that but dry and that's really good That's tasty stuff. I like that. Um, once again, really low bitterness. Uh, kind of like that the Rubens crush the groove. Um, I think that's probably a common theme in a lot of my recent beer reviews, especially the hazy IPAs. But hazy IPAs in general are a lower bitterness than uh, uh, you know a straight up IPA. That's kind of one of their calling cards. Um, there's a little bit of a finish to this. The the cream and the lemon and the, maybe the lime peel and the, the touch of pineapple, like all the uh, fruity and creamy flavors, they're there and then they're gone and it swallows really clean. Um, I mean, almost like a glass of water kind of clean, but not not water taste. It's, it's definitely the creamy taste. But then all that's gone and you're left with just the barest hint of kind of the hop residual bitterness that you expect. Um, probably more to the herbal side of the hoppiness, but it's quite nice. Um, this is a really, really tasty beer. It doesn't have much of a, it doesn't hang around very long. It's just there and then gone, but that's really tasty. I like that. That's good stuff. This has been the uh, Samish Haze, Samish Haze. Uh, Samish, I think refers to a region or a tribe or something in Washington, um, something native in Washington. Uh, so Samish Hayes, Hazy IPA by Black Raven Brewing. Uh, I will catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>